For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. I didn't plan on putting out a video today, but some very important information just dropped about EA Sports uh, t College Football 25, uh, including the cover for the Deluxe Edition, which I'll show you guys in a minute, uh, including the cover athletes, obviously, which is always a big question. Uh, the amount of players that signed on before the uh, the potential or uh, before the, uh, the 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 final day, which is April 30th. And the most important thing I think that a lot of people are waiting for, they released a date that you can expect to see the actual um, the reveal, which has been teased for a while since they uploaded the trailer. They said that there would be a full reveal sometime in May. We'll now have the exact precise date released by EA. There's no question about it. This is going to be the date that you're going to get all the information, including gameplay, features, all that stuff's going to come out on a very specific date that has been already released. But before I get into that information, as always, if you guys want me to continue to give you guys updates on things like uh, Madden 25 and uh, the new EA Sports College football game, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's, go, let's get right into the video. Now, the cover is probably the biggest news because one of the biggest things every time a new game drops is who's going to be the cover athlete. And this was released... Uh, so that you could put the it, it basically was released on the PlayStation Store so that you have something um, if you wanted to uh, pre-order the game. Now I tried to look on Xbox to see if it's available there, but they still don't have this. This is only on PlayStation for some reason. It's not on Xbox, uh, and I'm pretty sure that this game in a, in a previous video that I did I had mentioned that. Um, you're really only this is only going to be on next gen. It's not made, being made for current gen or old gen, whatever you want to call it. So if you're gonna if you're planning on hopping on PlayStation right now, make sure that you're actually on uh, next gen consoles because I don't think it's going to be on anything else. So it's only going to be on next gen. I haven't heard. I mean, it's also kind of a mystery whether it's going to be on a computer or not. I heard that people don't really want to do that. The EA doesn't want to do a computer release because of things like uh, you know people just do a lot of mods and stuff like that. So you know that hasn't. Been none of this has really been confirmed yet but these are all the theories that are floating around in the ethos so uh, but if you are on playstation though if you're on playstation 5 you can hop on right now and pre-order the game i would imagine it would be better to wait a week or so because i'm sure there's going to be a bunch of pre-order bonuses if you pre-order it at this store or if you pre-order at that store stuff like that typically happens um, i tried to hop on and see if uh, i could find it on xbox because a lot of times when you buy the deluxe edition and i expect this to be the same way when it comes to ea sports college football 25 you typically get an early release uh which is kind of weird because it's it, i don't know how they could um you know put something like the deluxe edition up for pre-order and then not give you a release date but it is what it is so uh but the most prominent thing about this cover is to cover athletes themselves there's three players that really stand out here even though it's a it's a view of you know it looks like hundreds of players because this cover really to me it's 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 really trying to celebrate uh something that is really groundbreaking and really shouldn't be looked over when it comes to um this is the fact that this is the first time ever when they have the names of college athletes in the game which is really a big deal because if you played the game back in the day uh, you know that there was no uh, names of the athletes because they didn't have the likes, they didn't have the rights to their likeness like they do now because of the NIL deal and stuff like that. Back then, it was like instead of Travis Hunter here, you just had uh, you would go play with Colorado. It would just be number twelve. You know what I mean? And that was like, and that's that, that always kind of sucked because that's why I always preferred Madden over um, NCAA's because you know who wants to play as you know number seven in Michigan? You know what I mean? It's like you want the name, you want to know, you want the likeness. So it's really it's really a big deal to me that you know this cover to me it says more than um, it's really more about that it's really more about celebrating the fact that you finally have the ability to play as your favorite college athletes rather than just you know number three for Texas you know what I mean it's like that that that's just that was always so lame uh, you could I think back then you could edit the players and edit their names in if you knew them and stuff like that I really don't remember but I remember I mean even Madden was that way. If you go all the way back to like Madden '94 and stuff like that, like it, it was, it was like Emma Smith was like number 22 on Dallas. It wasn't really 
um, you know, it was the same way. It wasn't until they started getting the the the, the licensing rights and stuff like that to the to the players' likenesses that they started adding names. Uh, and that that seems small, but it was such a huge addition. So I, I'm not going to gloss over that. I think that's really cool um, that they made the cover like this, that they really highlighted the name on the back of the jersey because something so simple was not available 10 years ago when NCAA 14 was playing, if I remember correctly. I, I think that that was really what – I mean, that's what cost the, 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 the world the game in the first place is the fact that they were fighting over that. You know what I mean? That they didn't have uh, their likeness rights, and that's why they stopped – making the game well it's back and it, it's so cool to see that i really think this this cover art if you're a fan of the series this cover art really hits home so uh, i will go into a little more detail about the three cover athletes um edwards the the running back for michigan who um you know i'm reading an article off of uh cbs sports uh edwards is, is donovan edwards running back for michigan he was not ranked in the in the cbs top 100 ranking so they're kind of looking at that and that was the name when i did a video about a week or so ago uh they they said that i think it was um i forget i think it was matt brown said that he was surprised he knew who the cover athletes were and he was surprised by one of them i'm guessing he was talking about donovan edwards because donovan edwards if you guys know he wasn't the starting running back um, Blake Corum was. He just went to the NFL. I forget who drafted him, but um, I think it was like a fourth or fifth round pick. But he was kind of the star tailback of Michigan, even though Donovan Edwards had a very big um, you know, national championship game against Washington. I think he had two touchdowns, 104 yards on just six carries. So he obviously, you know, he, he, he had a big time moment in a big time game. So it's not like he's an unknown player, but he's not rated the same way that guys like Travis Hunter are, where everybody kind of looks at him as like the number one player in college football. I mean, he might be like a 99 overall and he also plays cornerback and receiver. I mean, it's like, this is the, 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 you know, the guy's probably going to be a top five pick easy. Maybe, I mean, obviously quarterbacks are, are a little bit more important, so they might jump over him, but this guy's an absolute stud, an absolute freak player. He deserves to be on that cover just because he's probably the, one of the most recognizable names and faces in college football. Uh, and then you also have Quinn Ewers, I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right, um, but he's ranked number uh, 15 uh, on CBS Sports Top 100 um, for Texas, which is another powerhouse program. Um, so it's like these guys are, are you know, much bigger stars in their own right than Donovan Edwards. But since Michigan is the, na the, the reigning national champion, I guess they wanted to have somebody there just basically because it's more about the helmet and the logo, I think, at this point. Plus, Michigan's obviously one of the biggest schools in history. I think they're still the winningest school ever. Um, I don't know if anybody passed them, but I know they were not too long ago. But they're coming off a perfect season. Um, they're coming off a, a, a national championship. Uh, nobody, I don't think anybody expects them to repeat or be anything close to that, especially since they lost their head coach. They lost so many important players to the NFL. But, uh, but yeah, you definitely need that uh, that type of uh, brand recognition on the cover. Like I said, it's still still Michigan, still one of the, the biggest you know college football sports programs in the world. And uh, I think that that's probably why Edwards is there. It's a weird. It's just a little bit of a weird representation. I mean, I think most people would agree. Uh, there's still a lot of really big name players out there that didn't make the cover. I mean, we still don't know that who's going to be on the standard edition. I would imagine if Travis Hunter is on the deluxe edition, like he is, that Shador Sanders would not be. Although I really thought that Shador Sanders would be a great choice for um for a cover of the standard edition but there's still guys like carson beck uh who i think uh, has a pretty good chance of getting the solo cover i mean it's gonna be interesting to see what's the solo cover is my point let me know in the comment section who you guys think will get the solo cover by themselves uh because obviously that's still a big question that's uh not that's that remains to be named who do you think will be on the standard edition i'm gonna go with, i'm still gonna go with shador sanders just because of the fact that quarterback sell he he's i'm gonna say it's gonna be him or, or carson beck that's that's my two choices although there's also jalen Mil milrow who is on this cover from alabama you can see him so once again i think if you're on this cover you're probably not going to be on the standard cover which is why I think Shador Sanders makes the most sense because I don't see him anywhere mixed into these athletes. The second biggest piece of information is the May reveal. They gave you a specific date. We've been saying for a while now, if you watch any of these videos from me or any other creators, we all know that since the trailer dropped, or the teaser trailer really, um, that they said at the end of that that there will be a full reveal in May. Well, that reveal is less than a week away. I'm releasing this video May 10th. EA Sports is, re is reporting that May 16th is the expected 
uh, may reveal. May 16th news update is expected May 16th. So I'm going to say that that's the reveal date, which makes a lot of sense because a lot of people thought it was going to be mid-month anyway. So that's what that sounds like to me. Uh, and that's probably the biggest, those are probably the biggest pieces of information that were released today, but they're all very important uh, as now all of us will be setting our watch to May 16th uh, for probably a huge trailer to drop or, you know, a lot of information to come out. Things like gameplay, uh, things like the, the features, new features, all that stuff. It should come out on May 16th. So set your calendar for that. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, though. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be subscribed. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.